okay welcome to another one of my videos so let's talk about this let's deal with Jessica McCaskill first thing up WBO congratulates Jessica McCaskill and we'll go through these tweets and still congratulations to undisputed WBO welterweight champion JD Mack Jessica McCaskill who outscored Cecilia Breakers by unanimous decision scorecards 100 to 89 99 to 90 98 to 91 wide scorecards okay then the wbc world boxing council and still the undisputed champion of the world jessica mccaskill um wbc hashtag wbc of course then we go to the wba jessica mccaskill beats cecilia breakers by none of his decision congratulations and still wba female welterweight champion jd mack Hashtag boxing, hashtag book sale. We'll, we'll get to another story to do with the WBA later, to do with the uh, uh, incident of bad judging. Now, here's where I'm going to start off in reality when I talk about just McCaskill. IBO boxing. IBO tends to really uh, be very involved in female boxing. I think they, they manage to sort of play, sort of put themselves together and appear as a belt on parity with some of the others out there. Of course, um, it is what it is because it's female boxing. There's a sort of, um, there's a vacancy, I can say, in terms of the amount of belt belts a person can collect and compete for. And, uh, well, I suppose, uh, used to gain prominence. And the IBO adds to that, but I'm not using this as a actually I like the IBO because of what they said here they said big overhand, big overhand rights forgive me big overhand rights by undisputed IBO boxing world champion JD Mack was a difference in a rematch against Lady Cecilia uh, in Dallas tonight and still now here's the thing okay I'm gonna start there before we actually go on to uh, Clarissa Shields, who congratulates Jessica McCaskill there, there. Then we've got uh, Michael Benson. Michael Benson, let's, let's deal with that. Michael Benson, Jessica McCaskill beats Cecilia Breakers by wide unanimous decision in their rematch to retain the undisputed WBA, WBC, IBF, WBO. I haven't seen anything from the IBF. But underneath that, immediately, this is Rob Tubbard of, I think, Boxing Social, British Channel. All right, does, a lot of, do, does quite a few interviews. Uh, with Eddie Hearn alongside I, IFL TV with Coogan Clashes. But Rob Tabbert actually says something here. And I think he's been very diplomatic. What you read underneath expresses how I feel about Jessica McCaskill and her win. She says, Fort, uh, sorry, Fort McCaskill was a worthy winner, but not by those scores. He thinks the scores were too wide. Nevertheless, big things ahead for McCaskill would love Katie Taylor rematch. Now, as you know, um, Katie, Katie Taylor, um, sorry, Jessica McCaskill has been, you know, sounding off on that. I've heard through another channel, so I don't know for sure, but it's written here. It says, uh, this is ESPN ringside. If Katie Taylor is the next one, or if Kirsten Shields wants to come down to 147 pounds, let's go. After Saturday's fight, Jessica McCaskill says she's willing to fight the best of the best. Who would you like to see her fight? Now, that's all well and good. Let's go back to Dimitri Salita and Clarissa Shields right there. Clarissa Shields says, congratulations to Jessica McCaskill. But she's actually responding to what Salita put out, which is respect to both fighters. But Clarissa Shields is on a different level, maybe a different planet. Without exaggeration, Clarissa beats both in one night. Now, I might say a lot of shit about Clarissa Shields. I might say a lot of shit about Clarissa Shields, but at least she can box. The truth of the matter is, as I said, this guy here expresses how I feel about Jesse Mack. And quite frankly, you know, let, 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 let's just call it as it is, okay? Rick Ramos ain't teaching that girl shit. She's a garbage boxer. She's trash. This guy here writes, Jessica McCaskill is a horrible boxer. Majority of her windmills missed zero technique, shocking footwork. Katie is leagues above her. But 100 to 89 is a joke. Now, I'm not even going to talk about the scorecards. I don't know why they scored it like that. I'm not even going to talk about the scorecards. I'm talking about her technique. I'm talking about all that, sh all that stuff she's talking about as if she's something special. She's trash. The only thing, uh, listen, the only feather she's got in her cap is she, she bought, she built, sorry, she beat 
not built, beat an aging champion who made a very bad choice of going with Abel Sanchez. I, if there was no way you're going to have a rematch, stick with Abel, Ch Abel Sanchez and win that fight. This, this girl, her technique was bad. You think I'm lying? Let me show you what I'm talking about. Jesse Kamkaskill ist ein schrecklicher Boxer, der zuschauen muss. So as you can see, that's why I wanted to refer back to what the IBO wrote about Jessica McCaskill and her technique, the overhand right. That's supposedly an overhand right. What she hit um, Cecilia Breakers with in that little clip there is regarded as what made the difference. Her fucking windmills. And another talk of after she actually threw that punch, the way she moved and the way she was punched, she's garbage. She's garbage, but I think we have to be more disappointed. I suppose we can't really talk about it because when you think about how long Cecilia Breakers has been a champion and not be able to deal with somebody who's really this bad, you, you know, you feel kind of uncomfortable because it makes you want to say, then how good was that division to begin with? And you don't want to run her down because of all the things that she supposedly has done for women's boxing. Okay, all the things that she supposedly has done for women's boxing in Cecilia Breakers, as you can see, she's getting a lot of uh, support even in a loss. And she just looks the part, I suppose, that helps. She, she writes, thanks for all the love and support. My fans mean so much to me. And, you know, I like her too, but, you know, let's keep it real. You, you don't lose against somebody who's that fucking ham-fisted. I mean, she's not a good chance. And then, then she starts sounding off. Oh, yeah, somebody wants to fight me. Look, Rick Ross. Sorry, not Rick Ross. Rick Ramos. You're garbage. You're a garbage trainer. You're good at promoter. I'll give you that. You know what I mean? The images that you put online and the filming is all good. But, you know, whatever. This girl can't box for shit. You know what I mean? She's got lucky. And in all honesty, I don't think that Casey Taylor should chase this girl. Just leave it. Let her rot up there. There's, there's no point. Now she's sounding up, oh, you want me? Yeah. I, I heard from a sec second hand, though. I heard second hand. Now, she's making a... So what is it with these fighters, though, nowadays? The same thing, and I'm not going to make it about ethnicity, but the same thing you got with um, with uh, Andy Ruiz when he won the, he won the belts off um, Anthony Joshua. Okay? You got Lopez, Teofimo Lopez. Fair enough. I mean, that might be a different situation. Now you got J.D. Mack, okay? And they all of a sudden they 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 think that their 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 shit don't stink, you know what I mean? They think they're too hot. I I don't fuck with that. And but you know what? I would even I would agree with it. Andy Ruiz, quick hands, one fair and square. Um, Jessica McCaskill, one fair and square. Lopez, one fair and square. But the worst, okay, the worst case, okay, is what you got with Jody Mack. Jody Mack is shit. And I might say a lot of shit about Clarissa Shields, but Clarissa Shields at least can box. This girl cannot box. And I think it's a travesty that she beats a champion who's held the belt for so long looking like that. Absolute fucking garbage.